Hello, Mommy. Can Can you hear me? Hello. Hey. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Victoria. Mm. Where are you from? Huh? I'm from Spain. Spain. Yeah. Yes. More exactly in the south. In Seville. The south of South of Spain. Mm, Como yeah. estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Muy bien. Gracias. <laughs> you You guys speak. Huh? You guys speak <laughs> Spanish, right? Mm, yeah. Uh huh. So, what? How was your day? Mm, my day was. Yeah. I went to work. I ate breakfast, lunch. Oh, what do you I do? Back. I work in a school. I mean. You work in a school. Yeah, two or three hours a day. I'm like teacher. Yeah, in ah. high school. Wow! 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 School, school teacher, and um, and uh, w w why do you learn English? I learn English. I mean, it's the more speaking language in the world. Yeah, it's, and I mean the science and all. Yeah, you 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 European speak. Uh, do, um, do you speak any other language? I mean, Europeans speak multiple languages, right? Mm. Not all Europeans. I mean, but, yeah. Uh -huh. I only talk Spanish. I know about English. Mm -hmm. um, I studied a little French at the school, so it's it's. Yeah. I can listen the French. You Not can listen. The Spain and France, they are very uh, uh, close, right? Mm, yeah, we are in the frontier. Yeah, Spain and France. Well, uh, where are you from in in Spain? South of Spain, south of Spain, right? South yeah. Andalusia. Yeah. Andalusia, yeah. So, uh, what do you guys do in 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 Spain? Uh, what are your hobbies? Is I'm going to ask you a very controversial question. Uh, do the do mm. the Spanish people still do that thing? the bullfighting toreros <laughs> toreros yeah. yeah i mean yeah that is people that is like you said a controversial topic that is people that like it and people that that hate it yeah there are animalistas right yeah those people course. who want to stop people do um, okay protest do do people mm. protest against it yeah protest. i see what what is your take on, on it? Do you like it? I mean, I I don't like it in the sense that I mean it's an animal, but I, I I'm not against that people who like who like it or I mean I'm like neutral. I don't you, you like, are like it. Neutral, okay. Mm. I see. I don't like um, it, but it's okay if other people like it. I see. Uh, I mean, killing animals for sports is. Ugly, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anywhere, yes. It could be for, in other way. Yeah. For for nutrition, it is understandable, right? Yeah, but yeah. that is not. Yeah. So, um, what well, what wh what do you guys read in Spain? Do you guys read Hemingway? Hemingway loved toreros. I think he was <laughs> a manly man. The mm, American. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. And and he was he was in Spain, right? Mm, yeah, it was in Spain. Uh -huh. But and I don't remember reading reading Hemingway, like one book or okay. one novel or something. I don't remember. But I know you, who who he is. Yeah. You study, you, you, your English is really good. You studied English at school, right? Mm, yeah, I studied yeah. in English at school. I see. What did you study at college, university? I studied biology. Biology, mm. no wonder. So when you are learning biology, do you guys learn uh, and write tests in Spanish or in English? It's in Spanish. The classes and all, they are uh -huh. in Spanish. Okay. But it's true that when we have to do works together or a presentation uh -huh. or something. We have to read a lot of English articles. 
and okay, scientific do, articles do, and things but, like that are in are English. English. Yeah. Uh huh. I so, see. I mean, of course, they're adding Spanish or translated, but, mm -hmm. but it's not the same. Um, most of them are only in English. So yeah, I see. you need to know. Yeah. Okay. So most of the English uh, scientific and engineering and mathematical terms are the same in Spanish and in English, right? Yeah, because of the, or not exact, but sim very similar because uh -huh. of the Latin root or Greek. So um, Spanish and Portuguese, these two languages are from the vulgar Latin, right? Mm. Yes. So you, you guys are Mediterranean people, right? Mm. Yes. Italians, Greek and Spaniards, right? Yeah, okay. we are. You are the people who eat a lot of olive oil. <laughs> right? Yeah. A lot of fat. Every morning. Every morning. Every day, yeah. How, how do you eat? How do you eat in the morning? In mm, the morning, the most typical is bread and you toast it. And then you pour olive oil. Pour olive oil on top of mm, toasted bread. bread. Yeah. Like instead of butter or jam. Mm, yeah. And I you see. can eat like that alone, or you can mm -hmm. put like ham or tomato or something. Have you tried eating it with any other type of oil, like coconut oil or a sunflower oil? Or mm. you, okay, it doesn't work, right? No. I mean, coconut oil is not that's available here. Uh -huh. So, I, I mean, I, I've never tried coconut oil, for example. I don't think it would work. No. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you know better about coconut oil. Yeah. No, no, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I think I tried olive oil, but I didn't try it like that. Like you said, olive oil is not so popular. Now it is popular in supermarkets and everything, but it's not common. Um, okay. um, and we don't eat uh, bread with oil. But I I saw it in I think some Italian show or yeah I I, I he heard about it. But I yeah it's it's, it's something new to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean uh, yeah. So is it tasty? You like it? Yeah, it's yummy. Uh huh. I so, eat that every morning. <laughs> Mediterranean diet I think is also. Uh, because of the high fat content, not so much you, um, I mean, I, I don't remember where I read about it. It's naturally uh, healthy or something like that. Mm. It's good for your body if, if you don't eat too much, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, because it's different from butter, for example. Uh -huh. It's another type of, yeah, of lipids. I see. Mm. Pablo Picasso is from Spain, right? Yeah, he's a printer. Well, huh? he was a printer. I see. Uh, I, uh, for some time, I thought actually Picasso was Italian uh, because mm. for some reason, I don't know. Um, the same but, name, maybe. Uh -huh. I okay. see. And and do you like, I can see a, a art behind you. Mm. Do you, <laughs> do you, like to see painting or draw or something like that? Ah, do you I mean, do any art? Any art? No, I mean, I do. I draw, I draw, but very, very space in the time. Uh -huh. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's not, yeah, this is a passer, it's not a, yeah, so. I see. I mean, I, and I like to sometimes I go to museums or I see paintings or yeah, mm -hmm. but it's not the the best thing I like the better. I see. Wow. <laughs> so so um, in 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 Spain um, now is it hot or is it cold? Now is spring. Spring. So. Ah. Uh, so it's some days are really rainy. Uh -huh. I mean, a lot of rain. Rainy. Uh 
Ah. Mm. Yeah, um, it's cold. It's not so so warm these days. But ah, it, it, it's coming. It's coming. The the warm. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you guys are Spain is um, in the uh, south of uh, you, uh, Europe, right? And mm, yeah. you guys literally, I think, can see Morocco. Mm, yeah. Really? Ah, okay. Yeah, literally, we can see Morocco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, there is a little bit of sun, right? When I see movies, Italy and Greece and, and Spain in movies, uh, mountains and not really mountains or beaches and there is sun, right? Of course. And women and men are not wearing winter clothing like in Germany or even in oh, France. No. Yeah. I mean, now it's rainy, but... It's really mm -hmm. hot in summer, um, uh -huh. in autumn, yeah. Uh -huh. So what? it's now because maybe one month or two, and the winter, of course, it's cold, but it's not so rainy. And yeah, when it's hot, it's really hot. I see. Do, do you guys speak, um, are people bilingual or trilingual or somewhat monolingual, especially in your place. I'm sure Madrid and Barcelona and big cities, they probably are very uh, multilingual, right? At least at workplace. I don't yeah. know about home. At mm -hmm. workplace, yeah. Maybe more commonly is Spanish and English. Spanish and yeah. English, Spanish not and French. English. Uh, not, uh, French is more the, the old, the older generation, like maybe my parents, ah. or they studied French, like the principal language. After Not the English. internet, after the internet, after world wars, after America becoming a, a, a superpower or whatever, uh, English became yeah. the most popular, right? Hollywood and television and internet, right? <laughs> so now it's all about English. Yeah. But in the past, it used to be French, French right? Yeah. The second language, mm. I see. You guys can go to different places in Europe without any restrictions, any visa or anything, right? We, we don't need, I mean, yeah. In Europe, we don't need passport even. We can use... You can go to Britain now. You can go to... Uh, no, Britain. Britain, yeah. After Brexit. It's not Europe, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it good or bad? I, I mean, I see many videos and, and, and uh, newspaper articles and things, Brexit and blah, blah, blah. I really don't understand mm. a lot, but I understood Britain don't want to be in European Union anymore. And they... Yeah, it, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's bad. I mean, for the reason <laughs> that the, these days now is war and so so we don't talk about that much but mm -hmm. we had problems with for example trucks crossing to one country they don't want people from another countries or europe in general to go there to work they have problem working so they have mm -hmm. problem with transport or yeah things like food and things mm -hmm. like that so nice. i don't think they are very happy with that, yeah. Okay. They, they think they are not happy. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, did you go to other places in Europe? Uh, when you were in university, did you study uh, in a different country or something, like exchange programs or whatever? Mm, in my case, no. I, I no. had friends that did it. Uh -huh. But, yeah, I, I traveled for, I traveled for, for enjoyment or something. I went to Greece. Greece? Uh, yeah. Okay. And Italy. Wow, when you uh, were in Greece, did you go to the places mm -hmm. where uh, uh, Archimedes and Aristotle and those people's broken busts and things like that? Did you visit those things? Or yeah, what is that? To the part of mm. uh, uh, Okay. You visited yeah, all that? Yeah, I visited. Yeah. Do you follow Greek philosophy? <laughs> or, or read, not follow, read, or, or, or uh, try to understand or whatever. I, I, I like myth mythology. 
So mythology. It, I like it, ah. yeah. Uh huh. I see mm. the stories and everything. Mm. It's interesting. Right? Yeah. How how Christian is Spain? That's uh, you guys are Catholics, right? Yeah, but but I mean, is the the principal, but the government is not. Not it doesn't have a religion. Uh -huh. We doesn't have. We don't. It's not have, a Christian country. It's not a mm, Christian country. It's not. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it's real that we are very related with Catholic Church. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. But okay. there are Muslims, and Christians, very, and a lot of different branches of Christian types. Denominations. Of, right? mm, Denomination. Uh -huh. I see. Okay, so that is huh? that more those Christian. are the yeah. principal or main religions in in okay, mm -hmm. and uh, do do uh, what what uh, so what else do you guys do? Uh, I mean, in Brazil there is carnival or something, and do you have guys have something like that in Spain? Some of course, national. We have Yeah, we have carnival, for example. Uh -huh. I mean, and I talk about what I know, what is near me. We have uh -huh. carnival in February. Uh -huh. It's about singing and getting costumes. Uh -huh. uh, we have fair. What? We are what? We have fair, for example, fair. Seville, uh -huh. Seville fair. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like we dance, we eat, we drink. We wear like traditional dresses. Okay, wear traditional dresses and dance and things. Sounds like carnival. <laughs> okay, yeah. And yeah. and wow, well, Seville, you guys are also into football, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yes. Three days ago, ago we we won <laughs> an important championship or something. I see. Even during COVID, there are big football matches, right? Yeah. Now is we we don't have to wear mask outside in the street mm -hmm. and not inside the building, only in how, hos, hospital and transportation. How many doses of vaccinations did you take? I take two. Two. Okay. Yeah. I I I would I would have I would have had. The third, by now, but booster, I, right? it's a booster. Mm, but I had COVID, so I didn't need it. Yeah, you did. You did have COVID. Wow. Mm, yeah. How was it? How was the experience? Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, maybe it's too medical or personal. No, it's okay. I mean, uh -huh. it was like in my case, it was, was like a cold. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I have like nose. Funny. Uh -huh. uh, I see. But nothing preoccupant, like to worry about. Nothing to worry about. I see. Wow. Wow. So, um, and how do you learn English? I mean, is it difficult for uh, Spaniards to learn English, or, uh, or, or you guys all speak English? W w what is the? No, of course you have to put effort in it. I mean, uh -huh. we we learn it in school. Okay, uh, it's one subject, but most of the subjects you guys learn, like science and mathematics and geography, you guys learn it in Spanish, right? Yeah, all the classes are in Spanish, uh -huh. unless you are in a bilingual school that okay. they give some class classes mm -hmm. in in English. Yeah, mm -hmm. but nowadays, like. Children by three years old, they are already learning in English, like I words see. in English. Yeah. Uh, how how do how do you say mathematics in Spanish? Matemáticas. Yeah. So the more technical a term is, more similar to English. So it, I wonder. I mean, um, I mean, we Indians are in some sense always bilingual with English, especially mm -hmm. those people who do. Uh, um, Secondary school or more, so uh, in in that sense, uh, English uh, these these things 
uh, new terms we really have to learn from scratch. Like, for example, um, electrocardiogram. How do you say electrocardiogram, mm. ECG, in, in, in mm. Spanish? Electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram. Uh, my question is, is it, does it make it easy for you to learn the corresponding English? Or because it is too familiar, it's difficult? What is no, the, okay. It's easier because, it's easier. Mm -hmm. yeah, you read and when you see the word, you mm -hmm. say like, ah, this is, okay. for example, so, this is electrocardiogram. So yes. you read and learn at the same time. Unless there are some false cognates, right? Yeah, yeah. or then, yeah, then. or really different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, electrocardiogram, how do you say ICU, intensive care unit? Mm, unidad, unidad. De cuidados intensivos. Unidad de, de cuidados. Unidad de cuidados intensivos. Mm. You have to ah. change the order of the adjective. Yes, yes. Mm. So U I U, U C I. Mm. We U -C say U C I. I see. U C I. You say. I see. So so how do you say green bird? Green bird. Green bird. Ah, we say pájaro verde. Pa pájaro verde. Pájaro verde. Pájaro verde. So that means the order changes, right? Mm, exactly. So it's not green bird, but bird green. Bird green. Right? Mm. Yeah. So the adjectival, adjective order changes, but not always, right? In some cases, you can say both, I think. What? Can you repeat, please? In some cases, both order is okay, right? It's not always yeah. the case. Uh -huh. I see. In some sense, and, like yes. maybe poetry or literature <laughs> or uh -huh. just speaking, you can use sometimes. Yes. How do you say the ear, throat, uh, nose, doctor? Otorrinolaringologo. Uh -huh. Otto rhinologist, I think, in English or something yeah. similar. Otto, no, Otto rhinologist. Wow, wow. And, and and how do you say uh, the 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 bone doctor? Mm, osteopata. Uh huh. I think orthopedics, right, in English. So, uh, yeah. So in any case, it's easy for you to actually really read advanced English because. Then what about the German uh, sounding uh, words like, uh, but you guys are already familiar from probably uh, pop culture and things, right? Mm, yeah, but I, I don't know a lot of German. I, I, it's fun, it's not fun, German, yeah. not German. I mean, in English, there are two types of words. Like one is Germanic words like sleep and bed and things like that, ma uh, man, woman, um, and more Latinate terms, right? Like, so mm. like tooth and heart, Germanic, and uh, diende or dendel or cardio, those are Latinate, right? Latin mm. type of words. So mm. more technical, more similar to Spanish, right? So yeah. it's like you guys already know all the advanced multisyllabic words <laughs> that is from Gre Greek and Latin, right? Mm. You yeah. guys have to learn the simple words. <laughs> mm. it, I mean, it's easy if, if you know like the little prefix or suffix or mm. it, you can make sense of new mm -hmm. words, even new words. Yeah. Uh, do you, and I know about Spain having different languages, uh, Catalan or there are there is some uh, 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 like French Canada and English Canada, uh, are there some tensions in, in, in Spain with the... Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, there are tensions with Catalan people, not the people, but the region. They want, like, to be independent. Yeah, and we have another language, Euskera. It's in the north, too, of Spain. Or... Is it like a different dialect of Spain? Spanish, or is it a, an entirely different language? I mean, for example, 
euskera y cat, eh, and catalán is really different. They don't come from Latin. It's okay. different root. So it okay. sounds really different. Okay. Wow. 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 I see. And and um, your language is, I mean, Castellano. Is that your language? I mean, mm. Espanol. I know. Um, Castellano, Ibero, Iberian Peninsula, right? The languages from uh, Portuguese and, and Spanish, right? Yeah, we are Peninsula Iberica. I see. And, 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 and what about the Catalan or some other language? Are they the same mix or how different I mean, are they? Yeah, they, they are really different, the languages. Uh -huh. But w the thing about Ibero Peninsula is the languages that are including Portuguese and Spain, uh -huh. Portugal and Spain. I mean, uh -huh. the, it, yeah, that is and about Castellano is because Spanish, we is like differentiating, differentiating between mm -hmm. Castellano that is from Spain and for example, Spanish from Latin America is different okay. Spanish. Yeah. Uh, so, if you watch a, a TV show from Latin America, would you understand it, or, or is it difficult? I think it's easy for you to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could understand. It's like okay. any other, for example, dialect in in Spain. It's just like American. Like some words, yeah. Americans watch British things, or British watch Indian things. I mean, Indian English, or mm, exactly, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the accent so, and some words, yeah. Yeah, some some words, some phrases, those might be an accent, right? Accent mm. is it very different? Uh, yeah. The the Lat Latin American accent. Mm, yeah, it's very different. See. Yeah. So can you hear uh, and understand that? Oh, that guy is from uh, Medellin, uh, Colombia, or yeah. that person is from Mexico, or that person is from Argentina. Can you normally yes, yeah? Really, yeah, I see. you can say just listening. I mean, Spanish is like the, I mean, second or third most popular language in the world, right? Mm, yeah, I think it's second. Mandarin, Spanish, and English. These three languages are like the top three, right? Mm, yeah. Mm. But Mandarin probably, I mean, I spoke to some Chinese people and read a little about it, and they say, even though we say Mandarin and government, Chinese government says, uh, that Mandarin should be uh, uh, used everywhere. It's actually hundreds of dialects in, in China exists. Yeah, you know? right. uh, uh, Mandarin and Cantonese and many other dialects. Mm -hmm. uh, so for Spanish, if you read Gabriel Garcia Marquez, is it easy for you to read and understand or is yeah. it a bit yeah. difficult? It's easy. It's easy. I mean, sometimes you find a word but with uh -huh. the context, uh, uh -huh. yeah, you can, you can. I see. mean, no. that's the case with anything. I mean, even if you are very fluent in Spanish, if you don't know anything about trigonometry or calculus, you will have trouble reading it, right? Yeah. It's easy to make reading difficult. Frank Smith would, <laughs> would say. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but, but Spanish is in some sense, it's very uh, uniform, right? I mean, at least the standard Spanish. It's somewhat yeah. uniform, whether it is from Mexico or Med uh, Colombia, Chile, or uh, Argentina or Span Spain, right? Yeah, it's, it's more the, the speaking, yeah. yeah. Do, do, you, do you listen to Latin American music? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I see. Yeah, uh, reggaeton, salsa. Reggaeton. Yeah. Ah, wow. Uh, do you do the, the, the what to type of exercises are popular in, in Spain? Of course, football. Yeah. Football. Uh, I mean, personal exercises, like, I mean, that's a team sport. Do you guys go for running or it's like, I mean, Tour de France happens in south of France, right? Mm, yeah. Which is close to you guys, no? And do you do, do you do that thing? Long bicycling? Mm, yeah, we have. Uh -huh. it's, do you do it? It's called La Vuelta de España. La Vuelta, what? Vuelta. La Vuelta. De uh -huh. España. De Español, like Tour de France. Yeah. 
Yeah, but in Spain. In in it's Spain. Spain. Mm. Uh -huh. And you you go for did you did you go like that? Did you go for long <laughs> bicycle? Do yeah. you know how to ride a bicycle? Yeah, I know. Okay, so mm. maybe you don't go very far, long distance, right? I don't know. No, but but yeah, surely. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. At, Is that for a, example, for me, it's like I prefer walking. Walking. Or go hi hiking. Yeah, or hiking. 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 Uh huh. Mm. I think uh, like. Okay. Spain is also a big tourist destination for other European countries, I think, because yeah. of the sun, right? Yeah. It's the yeah. economy of Spain. I tourist. see. Sometimes I see crazy YouTube videos where some guy is arrested or something that is like a tourist and mm -hmm. probably that's a criminal or, uh, or even someone in hiding. I mean, I saw some videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything, but I'm just saying I'm, I saw some videos and I thought, wow, why are they, uh, um, you know, some, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, so, you know, when, when people, I mean, yeah, like foreigners, tourists went to, come to Spain and then they have a lot of parties and alcohol and yeah. Mm -hmm. There are problems. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 the, um, so I wanted to ask, what guys, what what do you guys read? I mean, I know Gabriel Garcia Marquez and Luis Borges and maybe what is his name, Averroes, or mm. uh, few people from uh, Spain. I don't know anyone. I mean, uh, Pablo Picasso uh, and. What is the major? Who are, I mean? Who who is the main writer? Like, I mean, I I cannot say main writer, but we have famous and wonderful writers. Uh huh. Uh, do yeah. you read? Yeah, I read. I okay. like to read. Yeah. Uh, you you regularly read. And and mm. oh, what? Who is your favorite writer from Spain? From Spain. I did a, I don't know what to say, but for example, when I was young, I liked Elvira Lindo. He's a, Who is a woman. That? Woman. It's a woman writer. It's a woman. Ah, okay. What is her name? Elvira Lindo. Elvira Lindo. Mm. I thought Lindo was a guy. Mm. I think. <laughs> it, it can be used like an adjective, but in this case, it's a surname. Ah, it's a surname. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, your father's mm. name, probably. Mm. Or, yeah. I see. Father's and, name. And you, 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 and how do you read Sherlock Holmes or uh, something like that, world classics or Russian literature? You guys convert that into, translate it into English, sorry, Spanish, and then read it, right? Yeah, we, we mostly translate things. Yeah, like, for example, um, series, or programs when when we put in when they put in tv they put in spanish already translated so yeah. everything is dubbed and there will be a, a, a subtitle right no no even without the title they Some... they put the voice of actual ah, voice okay. in the so spider-man superman big big movies avatar all things you watch in Spanish, not English, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Only if you go to cinema, the one day or that they put with original and stuff. Ah, I think that that means a lot of people, uh, I mean, the general population of Spain may not know much English then. Yeah, no, because it's, it's not <laughs> natural for us. Like, ah, we don't have I things in common. Students, working professionals, and those who need English speak English, right? Mm. Yeah. So, wow. So, in India, for example, all the major movies and everything, uh, it's it's mainly in English. Yeah, yeah that would be useful. Yeah, that uh -huh. we we now, watch and listen. Now things are changing. You know, th people like everything easy. So, uh, businesses like to put things simple, right? So also there are people who think that Indian languages should 
have more priority. <laughs> so that too, yeah. Uh, I mean, I like English because it's a world language. You can talk to anybody. You can do business with anybody in the world, right? So more people, yeah. And yeah. and when you do calculus or trigonometry in school, so the mm -hmm. pros will be in Spanish, right? Yeah. So if you say, if you want to say dy by dx, how do you say it in Spanish? Derivada, it's a derivation. <laughs> I see. Well, how do you say it? dy by dx? We call it derivada. Uh, yeah, derivative. Ex yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you read that notation? dy by dx is equal to sine x, for example. D I, I, I think I haven't read that in Spanish. <laughs> but no, because nobody said, but because you write it and don't say it. Yeah. Uh, for example, you want to read x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's the equation of a circle. Okay. So if you want to describe it in Spanish, how do you read it? X al cuadrado más y al cuadrado más. Okay. So you, I, wow. I that, that's great. So so you guys know how to do, how to do everything in Spanish, right? There'll be mm. there are standards in Spanish. They they make sure that how this is written and read and things like that, right? Mm. Yeah, but sometimes it, it, that make it, makes it difficult to to read in English, or sometimes even the terms change, the the notation change. I so see. Sometimes you, did biology, when you, read in English. you did biology, right? So mm. in university, you had to read English and sometimes you get in trouble, right? Mm. I mean, it's, it's stressful to convert in, and translate, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, so, so English really helps you, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I need it. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the time now? Now is 6.25. Mm -hmm. PM. Yeah. I see. Uh, it's it. It was very nice to talk to you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Same to you. Yeah. Yeah. That. What's the name? <laughs> I'm going to cut the call now. Okay. I'm going Bye. to. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.